They want me to help part? Yeah, probably. I don't know what that part was. I am horrified. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh no. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Let's watch some videos together. So obviously we're watching Hime haircuts. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right because I don't even know what a Hime haircut is. It's like I do, but I don't. I think there was a video that I watched, honestly, like two weeks ago, and there was a Hime haircut done in that video, but I don't actually know like what the idea of it is. So we're gonna find out together right now. I'm gonna Google Hime hair cuts. Okay. It is obviously a very Asian influenced style of cut, right? Uh, so the vibes are like poodle ears and then really long hair in the back with like a good 90s blowout. And I vibe with it. Yeah, this is definitely something that I enjoy that I would like on my own head. That's actually not true. I don't want this on my own head. I think I would not look good in it. I would actually look really bad in a Hime haircut. But listen, these girls are rocking it. It's very anime style. I don't know if it came from anime. I don't know. I guess we can just watch people do it and see what they say. But it's clearly a very Asian influenced and I am vibing with it and I actually cannot wait to see how these girls do these looks on themselves. It seems like a very scary haircut to give yourself. You just really chop those pieces off, huh? You're kind of giving yourself like a step right under your chin and then you're just leaving the rest long. It seems easy, but I'm sure people will fuck it up somehow because they always do. Today we're going, how far can I go to fuck up my hair? Yeah, surprise in two days for JJ's uh, birthday and everybody's like cosplaying slash like casual cosplaying for One Piece because this party is One Piece themed and I'm getting my hair like boss. So it seems like she was inspired by an anime princess. I don't even know what you call them. I don't know anything about anime, I'm gonna be honest with you. So everything I say about anime, I'm just making up. Correct me down, down below, I'm sure you will. She's going to a cosplay party and fully committing to the gig by cutting her hair. Not a wig, her real hair. And she so far has hair, it's like a bob. So I'm guessing she's gonna cut these like pieces really short, sort of on her cheekbone, which will look kind of cool, right? Like we're into that. It's kind of a vibe. Also, oh, what the hell does he may even even mean. Hime is the Japanese word for princess or lady of higher birth. I am so intelligent. I am the smartest person in the world because I said she was inspired by an anime princess. I think that makes sense. So we're gonna go with it. Cool. Okay. The first I have to diet is my roots are showing. You can't tell. See what do. All right, she's going darker than ever before. She's going black, black. I vibe with that. She's just doing her roots. We can skip over this. I think we all know how to do a black root, right? I mean, hopefully it comes out good. I mean, hopefully her hair's really dark after she does this like root color and pulls it through the ends. Let's see. We're back. Hair has been dyed. Yeah, yeah. It's really fun dark. I love it actually. I'm in my dark phase of my life. The black or the hair, the better. You know, if you're gonna do black hair, I want that shit to be midnight blue, you know, because it's so black, it's basically just blue. Now, I can't see anything, dog. Making sure. I started recording. Now, what is the sectioning we have to do for a Hima haircut? I mean, I guess you kind of just take hair from like behind the ear up and then all the stuff in, on the ear and in front of it gets cut shorter. I mean, that seems to make sense to me. But what do I look like? A hairstylist to you? I mean... You want me to help part? Yeah, probably. Um, this is not my forte. I don't know what that part was. If this is how we're starting this, I am horrified. I think she was trying to do a side part, but it ended up being just like a squiggly line. Really scary. <laughs> not sure about that one. Please get your friend's help. It's honestly not even that hard of a haircut. Like, it's fine. Down in the oh yeah, that, on um, this piece in the back is always gonna go that way. I will warn you right now. That's my cow, like, bust on things. That's also like. Don't mind to trim those too. Sure, if you want to. You need a little more. Your friend is telling you all the right things. She needs a little more hair from the top. From here to here is where the sectioning should be. That way she has that big chunk of hair like that Hime haircut showed when I Googled it. You know, if that's the vibe we're going for, we need more hair in the front. We need that short piece to be really thick and really blunt. I don't know what kind of comb that is. I mean, it's a teasing comb. I do know what kind, but why the fuck? Are 
<laughs> week sectioning the hair with a teasing comb. Actually, sorry, that's a hair pick. It is 11 p.m. right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. I am tired, but I also need to deliver a hair just to react. So if I get everything wrong in this video and I look like I'm falling asleep, it might be because I am. It's a hair pick and she is <laughs> sectioning her hair with it. Not my favorite idea, not the best tool, but we'll, we'll go with it. That's a lot of hair though. But it's not gonna look that much once you cut it. Well, no, it is. <laughs> the idea is that it looks like a lot of hair, right? Because we want that chunk. So hopefully it looks like a lot. Unless you're too scared. <laughs> oh, I'm scared as fuck. <laughs> that was my friend. I'd be like, do it. You won't. Do it. Come on. Do it. Uh, does that look like okay, though? Yeah, you know what? You can do whatever you gotta do, sis. The friend is taking over. Thank God, because I feel like she knows a lot more than this girl does. So I had a pixie cut for like seven years or more, right? Mm -hmm. And I finally grew it out because my wedding is next year. So I've been trying to grow it out. But I'm so far bored. I need something different. I've got a year, like. You know, I don't get the whole I'm growing my hair out for the wedding thing. Like, I mean, I guess people want classic styles for their wedding. But wouldn't it be so much more fun to look back at your wedding and be like, what the fuck? was I thinking with my hair, my makeup, and my wardrobe? Like, those are always the fun stories when you see your parents, you know, 80s wedding pictures, and she's wearing like these big puff sleeves, and her hair's in like ringlet curls, or like a weird ringlet updo. Like, those are my favorite wedding pictures. Those are the ones that go viral. Not when you look like a gorgeous, stunning bride that looks timeless. Come on. We have been sectioning the hair for about seven minutes of this video. Where's the fucking haircut? Oh my god, guys, we're still sectioning. It has been a lifetime. I am growing an actual beard. We're almost there to the cut, guys. Just be patient with me. I'm being patient. I'm seeing it till the end. You know, I'm I'm here. I'm waiting patiently. She wet her hair. Great job. You know, I always love when people wet their hair. So awesome with that. Because wetting your hair before you cut it just makes the cut so much easier. Plus, when the hair falls to the ground, it's already in clumps. So you don't have to, like, pick up little pieces of hair everywhere. And if it falls in your shirt, guess what? It's just a clump of hair. You can just take it right off. Instead of all little tiny hairs that get everywhere and stick into your skin and it's painful. You know, it's just easier. Okay. Uh... Yeah, cute. I also, I don't mind going short. I'm just I think shorter. Yeah. It's a little bit too long still. Oh. Maybe like a little bit under your chin, maybe. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm scared. Ooh, we're doing it. I think she should have gone up to like her lip though. She said she's gonna cut it under her chin. I think they're gonna go shorter than that. Scissors are not the greatest. We aren't going to lie. I got them from Olive Young. I can. Try it to see what it looks like. Okay, I mean, that looks good so far. So far, it's a vibe. Well, the length, I think, is cute. I mean, I could always cut shorter. Shorter is also, I think, maybe better for your face shape. Just a little bit below there. Like, probably in line with, like, right here, maybe. Exactly. Yes, go shorter. Go shorter. Let's bring it to the chin, for sure. Come on. You need to go shorter for this cut. I know this feeling. Too short? No, that's cute. Yeah. Just, to just be, gotta trim it nice cleaned up later. Yeah, yeah. That cut was perfect. It was perfect. This is looking good. This is looking good, but I'm, I'm I don't know how this is exactly gonna come together with the rest of the hair, but we'll see. I really like the like step mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cut the middle middle bang mm -hmm. straight. Yeah. And then we can um <laughs> like I love that they're just two friends, but it sounds like they're at like a hair appointment. The black hair girl is like, yeah, no, that's perfect. Yeah, oh my. And the other girl's like, I got you, girl. I'm gonna give you a little bit of this and a little bit of point cutting and a little bit of the layering, and it's gonna look fabulous on you. Like that is exactly what I would have said. We have all the combs besides just the one comb we really need, which is a hair cutting comb. We're now using a hair color comb, a double sided one, better than a the hair pick. I will say. So far, it's definitely giving Johnny Depp Willy Wonka right now. But you know what? The hair is in the back is still up in a ponytail, so we still have potential for this to look good. You know, just let the hair down, it'll be fine. I feel like when you style this look, it's really important that you bring the hair in, you know? It's a amazing idea. I love myself. You know what? My hair's actually been this short before. It would Definitely a little Edna mode, actually. I don't know if I'm particularly the, the the one who's vibing with it. We will see. The video is not over. We're refining the haircut now. Okay. That looks pretty straight in the front. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, those bangs are refined. She refined that sh Yeah, she did. Damn. Because the rest of you are still wet. Ooh, so now we're letting down the back. This is the, this is the moment of truth when we see if everything comes together. I love it. I love it too. It definitely needs to be... 
straight from the blader. That's such a nice look. He looks so good. You're feeling it. I you are. are. You look so good. I can't lie. I'm feeling it. Here's our final look. I'll probably film something yeah. in a day or two. Oh! Hmm. I'm definitely thinking about going to Olive Young and getting the hair thinning scissors. I would love that for you. Yeah, no, no, no. The haircut's not quite there yet. Definitely needs thinning, like a lot on the ends. It's just looking a bit chunky and thick right now. If you have really thick hair like this, styles like this are best to get done by a hairstylist because these are complicated cuts and if they are not done correctly, they look like a fucked up home haircut. Sorry. Okay, this is the finished haircut. It's honestly, with he cuts, if you have thicker hair, it's much easier to just do like narrower blocking. So like your block's not gonna be this like thick, like you don't have to have super big ones. But because I have very thin hair, you want more blockage. Thin? You think your hair's thin? It might be fine, but it is thick as sh who on my screen right now has thin hair? Not you. I mean, what? It just looks better. So we did more thick blocking, um, which means we went farther back on my head. I think it already looks really good. The only problem that I've had is trying to separate between like my blockings and my other pieces of hair. Sometimes I'll have like really long pieces just dangling from like right here, but not freaking bad. I genuinely enjoy it. So that's the end. I mean, listen, it's definitely a Hema haircut, I guess, but I definitely think she, she needs a, lot, a bit of work done. In terms of thinning, and getting a, a better shape to her hair. You know, so when her hair falls, it kind of just falls in that Hime shape. It's all about that shape. With a good haircut, that shape will come through naturally. And it's just not there yet for me. I've been growing my hair for months and now it's time to cut it. So now the purpose of me growing out my hair is just to give myself a Hime cut. We can see before we do that, we need to fix this. There was just a lot going on in her hair color. I don't know what we're doing, actually. I just now realized that I've been using a wrong bleach. I tried this new one and it lightened to the color that I wanted already for just like one time. So what happened was, it looked like this. And now I'm over it. There probably isn't any noticeable difference, but oh well. <laughs> I don't know what happened. She apparently colored something. I don't know. It looks the same to me. I am now going to start cutting my hair. All right, so now we're going to for the Hime thing. So let's see what happens. We're gonna cut it straight. Oops. Oh, we really just went right in for it, huh? She just took a piece right in the front of her head, just boop, went for it. I mean, next time I would, I would suggest sectioning out first the hair you want to cut so you get a good visual of what the vibes are. Even like just bending the hair, you know, and seeing what length looks good with the longness in the back. So I, it seems like for this haircut, you do need bangs, right? Like that's the vibe. Okay, it's the vibe. I just checked again. That's the vibe. So we're doing that vibe. Oh, and she went much shorter than the last girl. Like she went up to like her cheek almost. Okay, well, actually the side of her lip. I feel like that's like a good length. I don't know. It depends on how long your hair is, I suppose. If your hair is really long, probably just kind of do it. I think under the chin is like the standard, you know? It's like you got to at least do that much. But if your hair is really short, maybe go to the cheekbone area, you know? Because there has to be a noticeable difference between your length length and that short layer or else it's not gonna look like a Hime haircut. Oh my god, this much hair. Are we serious right now? We're dead serious. That might be a little bit too much, but again, you kind of need a lot of hair to make this look cool. I feel like this much. Then I'll probably add more. Less is better than when I accidentally cut too much, you know? You're right. Less is more when you're doing your first cuts. Oh, whoa. Okay, so she's doing something different. She's doing like a, a multi-layer Hime haircut. I feel like that's not really like what people are doing. I mean, this is her own sort of version of a Hime haircut, I suppose. We're getting creative. By the way, I just I just saw the title that says she hates it. Awesome. I'm just excited to see all those dead ends just fall to the floor, honestly. That's my favorite part about this video so far. What did I do? Oh my gosh. Um, it's a little bit uneven on this side. So let me cut more. Listen though, as a kid, like this is what hair is for. Just f it up. <laughs> Just do whatever the hell you want. If you are under the age of 18, you have all the right to just like destroy your hair. If I ever have a child and they have the worst hair you've ever seen, it's because I just said, have fun with it. Because the way I learned how to do hair at first was f***ing up my hair and f***ing up all my friend's hair. That taught me a lot of lessons. A lot of really scary lessons.
Oh, and she just keeps going. It looks so bad on camera, but the mirror, I think it looks fine. Um, so... Anyways, that was it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is where we left it? Come on. I mean, look, listen, it's very uneven. You're beautiful. Like, come on. You look beautiful no matter what. But like, would I like to see your hair like deep burgundy red? Yes. Or black? Yes. But red, preferably. Or really, really dark blue? Yes, I would. Also, the two sides are not even at all. What happened there? And then also just the styling. I think we need to do the blowout or else you just don't get the Hime vibe. We need to do the really sleek beautiful shiny blowout with the ends just kind of like beveled inwards it just gives the perfect touch to this haircut if i get why you hate it i don't hate it per se i'm not a huge fan of it but maybe the next person will show us a better version of it we'll see these are kind of just he may fails huh Ooh, we have blonde hair this time. Okay, this is gonna be different. I feel like the blonde hair is gonna be a good vibe for the Hime haircut. I feel like it'll be good. I just realized this collar might not be ideal for um, this video because I'm planning on giving myself a little trim. Oh, the hair's probably just gonna get collected here, isn't it? This is gonna be great for her considering she has like these kind of layers already in the front and they look a little damaged. So like doing a little doop, a little choppy on those layers is gonna be really good for her. I just feel like the vibe is gonna be fire. But I think I'm just gonna grab the very top layer and sort of layer it that way. So all of this can say, do not perceive my roots. I'm giving my hair a break okay i'm gonna separate this entire back half of my head so i'm not in any danger of cutting it okay so she is doing good sectioning right because she is taking everything from behind the ear all the way up and very clean sections and she's using a tail comb a plus 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 for all of that i feel like it doesn't need to be too neat does it no i think it does i think it'd be good if it was neat yeah so i'm gonna keep most of that length and just cut this front bit into layers. I mean, I already have a kind of layering going on. Okay, let's grab all of that. So we're only gonna be cutting this, I think. And then I might just give the rest of my hair a trim. So the thing everybody I'm watching is missing is the whole layering portion. Like, it's not enough to just do a straight line. Like, you gotta add some layering. And, like, not even layering, just like a bevel to the ends of the hair of that shorter section. That way everything just lays nicer, but I'll explain more in a second. I'm gonna start off by just giving myself like a normal trim. I should maybe do this while it's straight. Just do it while it's wet, not straight. So much easier. Still too low, isn't it? We gotta go a whole lot shorter than that for Hime, come on. Those dead ends, ooh, she needed those gone. That felt good for me. That felt really nice. It's kind of a cute little bob. I'm gonna take my hair down and then we'll see how I can sort of layer that in. That's kind of cute. How does it look so far from the side? I just feel like we're not really committing to it yet. We're almost doing it, but not quite. I feel like it needs to be a lot more extreme. Slightly more drastic. My hair hangs forward a bit more. So I think I'm gonna trim some layers into these sections here. So it wants to be kind of directly above my ear. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea to take more hair. I think you need to make the, the sections you had before shorter. Are we doing face trimming layers? Are we doing a, are we using the Hime? I don't know what's going on. Who? I think we're losing track. Oh, it says Hime cut slash wolf cut. Well, those are two totally different things, so I don't know. <laughs> I think I want it to come even further back. Instead of cutting it completely off though, I'm gonna do it as more layers, I think. So I'm just gonna take that layer, comb it sideways. I'm just gonna go in. Now we're going crazy with this sh what is this section? What are the way we're holding it and the- Oh, these are fabric scissors, it says in the title. Okay, I'll take it. Fabric scissors are pretty, uh, pretty sharp. Didn't mean to cut that short. Don't worry, we'll just hide that in the fringe. Okay, same on the other side. Okay, so we got a good two inches. Oh, we're just going ham on it now. We're just starting to cut into the length as 
far back as humanly possible. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna section my hair in half and then I'm just gonna add some layers to the whole length of it. I don't know, this might ruin the effect. It's just a, just a dusting of layers. We chopped off a fair amount. I feel like I made it a bit shorter in areas than I should have done. I would have to agree with you. I lost track a while ago, guys. I don't even know what to tell you. This is in real time. We're, we're trying to figure out what's happening. Hang on, I'm gonna cut this shorter. No, stop, stop right now. So this is what it looks like straight and with significantly less roots. <laughs> it looks a little bit like Coconut Head from Ned's The Classified School Survival Guide, but when you get past that, it's okay. Once again, I cut it some more. I just made them match on the sides, so this side's a lot shorter. And I still like it, you know? I think straight is my least favorite because my hair is just really flat when it's straight. It just looks a bit weird to me. But yeah, I like it. I think uh, it satisfied my need to change my aesthetic a little bit more. I don't hate it. I think that this looks nice. I just think, again, we're lacking the blowout moment that I need desperately right now. I keep saying it over and over again. I'm not gonna repeat myself. You know what kind of blowout it is. It's like this. It's what she needs because the cut is there. It's cutting. And luckily she has thin enough hair that kind of, this cut just kind of looks good on its own with just the chop. She doesn't need a lot of thinning because her hair is already on that thinner side and it looks just great. But we're still lacking the finished result. I want more. I expect more. We're gonna watch one last video and hopefully she gets it right. Hello guys. This is going to be a very, very, very random video. I was buying like clips and then I was just like, oh my God. You know, like the certain type of hair, I don't know what is it called in English where it's like gongju chie. They just freaking like cut it straight. Where there's a lot of K-pop, girl group, uh, Japanese style. She definitely has the hair for it and she's Asian. So it's automatically gonna look even better than everybody else. <laughs> and the dark, dark hair, love it. So yeah, start from zero. Restart. First, going to separate my hair. Oh my God, she has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful long hair. This is gonna look sick if she does it right, which we don't see a lot of, so we shall see. That's it? That's all the hair we're gonna section out? I don't think it's even at all. It's so not even to the point I can see. It's only a little bit of my hair. I actually have a thinner layer. So I sort of have this short layer. I'm just adding a little bit and cutting it straight. It won't be a big deal, I think. This is my pin box. Look at this, and we know it's only... Hello, can you work? I get the sentiment. I get what we're trying to do with that pin, but it's not gonna work like that. The pin is not gonna stay in place on that little tiny piece of hair. You need a lot more hair for a pin to stay in place. But if you feel like you're gonna have a hard time making it even on both sides, pick a point of your face, right? Like chin, like jaw, edge of your lip, cheekbones, and then cut the hair to that same length on both sides using your visual cues of your face, you know? God, <laughs> my hair. Ooh, actually it's not bad. I just cut it, I, I just did it. Okay, that was a good length. At the chin, perfect. Oh, actually this side will be harder because every time I cut this side of the bang, it's not working. Oh my God, it's slaying. It's slaying. Now can she get it even on the other side? We shall see. Oh my god. Literally, I have no hair now because I am cutting so much of my hair. Oh, that's a lot of hair we cut. Oh, it's looking so cute so far. Should I cut more? <laughs> you need to cut more for sure. Like this is this is looking really good, but we need more. I mean, she's the definition of a Hime haircut. This is this is when you Google a Hime haircut, this is it. But we're going for more. Thank God. This is looking good, but just a little bit more would make it look even better. She's doing much different sectioning than the other people because she's kind of like taking a, a slant instead of taking it from here down. It's like kind of slanted and then down. If you're doing like that, your the hair from the back is gonna kind of overlay on top of the shorter pieces, which I guess. This is fine, but I don't I don't know. I wouldn't particularly do it like that.
I love it. We saved the best for last, clearly. That looks so, so good on her. She is so pretty, and this cut just absolutely complements her face shape perfectly. Ah. Beautiful job, beautiful execution. She says that perfect Asian hair for this style. It vibes. Maybe that's what we're missing. Just that naturally straight, super shiny, thick hair. We got it though. Whew. Those are really cute. I think this should become a new, like, big trend in America. This would be fun to see people do. Butterfly cuts are cool, but like a Hime haircut, even cooler. Make sure you check out my hair care and my hair color products. Link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. And that's all. I'll see you next time. Bye.